Hello guys, welcome back. We're still in the business of cutting flays. So guys, I'll be teaching you how to cut a 720 flay, 1440 degrees flay. Make sure you watch this video to the end. Don't skip it, please. Don't skip it. Remember the last time we did 360 flay, so this is the continuation. Thanks and may God bless you as you watch. Make sure you give us a like. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thanks. Okay guys, so as you can see, we are done with 360 flay. So we are moving over to 720 flay. Like I said, 720 flay is 360 flay into two. That is 360 times two gives you 720. Okay, what does it mean? It means that we are going to cut something like this again. Do you understand? This is one flay. We are going to cut something like this again, then fix it together from here. That is what we call 720 flay. But that does not end there. 720 flay, remember, when you measure this, circumference of here now what do you get 28 because the circumference we are like the circumference we are using for this tutorial is 28 that is 26 as the round on that bus plus extra two inches allowance which is serving for the zipper the remaining of the zipper allowance do you guys understand okay which is total of 28 when you measure this one now it's total of 28 but for a 720 like i said we are going to have two what it means is that this, when we cut the two flays, eh, here is not going to be 28. Rather, since it is two, here is going to be 14. While the other one, here is going to be 14. How did we get that 14? It's simply 28 divided by two. Do you understand? That is how to get 720 flay. Hope that one is clear. Okay. Now look at what I mean. When we finish cutting it, we are going to be joining it this way look at it we are going to be joining which at the end of the day the major reason why we do 720 flay is we want to achieve more flay more coiling that coiling that usually on flay we want to achieve it more sometimes you see it you'll be wondering how they actually made it this is a combination of two flays do you understand now the only difference is that they just don't cut using the waist directly let's say the total of our waist plus so allowance is 28 we don't cut 28 complete waist and cut another 28 complete waist. no we first of all divide that 28 by two use it and cut one flay then use it and cut another flay join it together when you join it together remember the waist is going to give you exactly 28 again do you understand then the flay will now be excess that is what 720 flay is all about. So let's start with that particular one. Remember, remember how we actually folded for the other one. Remember what I told you about folding. Whenever you want to fold, we fold with reduce and the, the length of the flay. How do we get the radius? For 360 flay, to get the radius is the circumference, which is this 28 divided by 6.28. But for 720, it is actually going to be the same thing. Since it is 360 into 2, do you understand? 360 times, it's going to be exactly the same thing. Now, see how it's going to happen now. Remember what I told us, 720, the waist we are going to cut for our flay is not going to be 28. Is going to be how many? 14. That is 28 divided by 2. Now, that 14, remember we should also have a joining allowance. Same allowance. Hope you guys know that we need a same allowance. So let's say our same allowance is extra 1 inch. Do you understand? Depending on what you want to use, half inch or 1 inch. So at the end of the day, we have 15. Remember what I hope you, yeah, that is clear. Okay. So now look at it, guys. 15 is our second friends at this point for points. Now 15 divided by in order to get the radius, 15 divided by 6.28. You guys should tell me is 2.38 she that's it in decimal. Okay, guys. So now remember we are still folding our materials. And remember the flay is how many? The flay length is how many? Six plus extra one each, making it seven. So now what did you get? 2.38 now 2.38 plus 7 7 8 9 that is 9.38 do you guys understand so it means that what we are going to be folding look at it hmm? is see look at it here now what we are going to be folding is 9.38 like in in folded into four look at what i mean guys first of all check here whether it's up to 9.38 okay it's not up to nine and a half okay look at it look at it i think this is okay in weight are you seeing it it's not exactly 9.38 it's more than so that means it's okay so now see what i want you to do guys see what i want you to do 
cut here out. Are you saying it? Yeah. Okay. When you cut here out, check out for that same 9.38. But this time around, since you are putting it on four, it should be times two. In other words, you can simply do something like this. Let me show you. Let me show you. Are you seeing it? Look at it, guys. Okay, something like this. Do you, do you guys understand what I actually did here? Okay, that is how to fold. Then next thing you need to do is to cut it off from here. Are you seeing it? This is how to fold. Your radius plus the length. Your radius plus the length. Then use it and form a square. Look, this is actually a square. What is here is what is here. This what is here and this is what is here. Are you seeing it? Okay. That is it. The radius plus length. How do you get the radius? Divide your circumference by 6.28. For this one of 720, the circumference was first divided into two. Since we are working with two flares, the circumference, which is 28 divided into two, is 14. 14 plus extra one same allowance is 15. Then that 15 to get the radius, 15 divided by 6.28. What we got was 2.38. So that 2.38 plus 7 is, um, is around what? 9.38. So that is what we used to get here. Here is 9.38. Here is 9.38. Folded into 4. Are you seeing it? Okay. So now let's continue, guys. So in order to form the play, it's now simple. Very, very simple. Let's mark out 9.38 as a radius from here. You guys know what we did previously. We are going to mark it and move it like a gap from here to this point. Okay. Now let, let's do it. 2.38. Okay. From here, 2.38 is from here. Are you seeing it? It's not up to 2.5. Do you guys understand? Mm -hmm. Yes. And it is also after 2.21 two quarter, which is 2.25. Okay. So take it down. Make sure you are touching. Make sure the, the uh, top tip of the um, tape is touching here. The tip of the paper. Are you seeing it? Okay. Let's go. 2.38. Let's go. If you notice, this one is very very small. Okay. 2.38. 2.38. 2.38 and 2.38. Okay, now that we, you are done with it, are you seeing it? Next thing you need to do is to get the flay length. Remember the flay length is 6 inches plus 1, making it 7. Now because we folded this material using the measurement, that's why we don't have excess that we are wasting. Are you seeing it? Okay, so make sure you continue. From here, mark out 7 inches. Are you seeing it? From here, also mark out seven inches. Please gradually, don't over rush. Seven inches, then mark out seven inches. Are you seeing it? Then here, mark out how many? Seven inches. So at the end of the day, guys, you have to connect. Okay, are you seeing it? When you connect, take your scissors and cut it off. There's something else I want to let you guys know. Please, I'm sorry I did not say it earlier. Remember, it's two that we need to cut. Hmm? Before you mark this thing, eh, get another material, paper, eh? because I think this will be very, very easy for us. Are you seeing it? When you get it, fold exactly the same thing you folded for this particular one. Look at it, guys. It's as simple as this. Are you seeing it? Then make sure it is double. I think this will make it to be very, very easy. Then use your pin and then hold it. Okay, when you are done, you continue your cutting. Okay, what we want is we need it to be double. That is majorly what we want. Are you seeing it? Okay, remember what we used to do here? What do we do? We cross check to know whether it is up to what we used. What did we use? What did we, what's the total here? Like, what's the total circumference that we used here? Yeah? The total circumference we use there is 15. It's 15. Have you guys forgotten? The total waist was what? The total circumference was 28. Since we are making 720, we divided it by 2, which is 14. We added extra 1 inch for seam and lower, which is 15. So we have to cross check whether it's up to 15. How do we cross check? Since we are folding it into 4, we divide the 15 by 4. Whatever it gives us, that's what's supposed to be from here to here when you measure it. So what should it be? 15 divided by 4? 3.3 3 3 quarter. 3 3 quarter. Okay. So measure it out. What do we have? 3 3 quarter. Are you seeing it? 
that is what we have here, three three quarter. Okay, so now I cut it off because it's actually correct. If it is not correct, I've taught us how to um, adjust it. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. If you don't see it, make sure you watch how to cut 360. That place, I showed us how to adjust it. Now you see, now you are done. All you need to do is, look at it guys. All you need to do is open it up. You see the four corners, you see all the lines. Look at what you do guys. Open up here like this. Are you seeing it? Get the other one also. Open it up like this also. Now, next thing you need to do is to... Get one. So half inch. Do you guys understand? So half inch. So let me use this pin as my stitch. So half inch like this. So half inch. Okay. So after you are done sewing half inch, now see what you see what we have. Okay. Now are you seeing what we have? Are we seeing what we have? See, look at it. Are you seeing that we have S like the play is bouncing? Are you seeing it? It's bouncing very, very well. As I mean this is a material, you notice it very, very well. So look at it. It's over bouncing. Now when somebody sees it now, they will not really know it is two flares joined together. And at the end of the day, the circumference here, now look at what I want to tell you. The circumference from here down uh, to this particular place, at the end of the day, it will not be how many? It will still amount up to that 28 inches. Do you understand? Some persons do make mistake. They will cut it like normal 360. They will cut the other one like normal 360. At the end of the day, the worst will be excess. Some of them will go ahead to plate it. This is not really how to make 720 plate. Do you understand? So this is the real way on how to make a 720 plate. Yeah. So if you want to cut the lining, let's say you need a lining for it, I would advise you, don't join it before you cut a lining. When it was still single, use it and cut a lining. Do you understand? So that when you join the material, you join the lining before you now do the total joining. It's so easy as that. Or there's also a simple way. When you see, there's also a simple way. Turn one with lining first. Turn the other one with lining first. Then come to where you want to join it. Join everything at once. You understand what I mean? At the end of the day, you have still got in it. This method I just gave you guys now is to make it easier for you so that you will not say it was so hard, you struggled while joining the lining. Because I know, I know people struggle while joining them because this is this is too confusing. Are you saying it? It's very, very confusing. Or you want to go, cannot tell me you are gumming it after. Please, it's advisable to gum it separate, separate. You are gum separate, do you understand? Okay. Now, let me use this opportunity to teach us how to... Let me use this opportunity. Now we've done 720. 720 is 360 times 2. Now let me use this opportunity to teach us 1,440 degrees flame. Now how do you do it? Please, to tell you the truth, eh? I don't think I must. Must I cut it all, all over again? No. All I need to do is to tell you that it's exactly the same way we did this one. Now, we, I taught you this 720. Which 720 is 360 divided times 2. Now, 1,440 is 360 times 4. So that means we need this flip into four equal places. What do we do first of all is, since 720, we divided the circumference by 2 in order to get the circumference we are going to use for one flip. This one, we are going to divide the circumference by how many? Four. So in other words, let's say the circumference of this one is 28. What do you do? 28 divided by four. 28 divided by four at the end of the day is how many? Seven. Now, what it means is that seven is the circumference of one of the flames. Do you understand? Seven is the circumference of one of them. So now, in order to add seam allowance to it, we can make it to be what? 7.5 or eight. Do you understand? Seven plus one, making it eight. Now that eight is what you divide by 6.28 in order to get the radius of one flame. Eight divided by 6.28 is how many? So guys, like I said, in order to make 1,440 degrees flame, huh? since when we're making 720 flame, we divided by two. We divided the circumference by two first. 
before before dividing by 6.28. This one you divide the circumference by four first because 1440 degrees plate is 360 times oh. four. So when you divide it, then you now divide by 6.28. So let's start doing it. Um, 28 divided by four, what we get is seven inches. So that seven inches divided by 6.28, which is going to give us 1.2. Thank you, 1.27. So, which we know in order to get the radius when folding our material is 1.27 plus total of the length of the plate is 6 inches plus 1, that is 7. One point, that means 1.27 plus 7 is 8.27. So, that means we need about 8 point something. Are you saying it? Okay. So, all we need to do is to take our scissors and then cut out. Look at it, guys. Take scissors and cut. If you notice, this is getting smaller. Yes, that is because of the circumference. Now look at it. You have to fold into two in order to get a square also. See, fold it into four. Also, make sure that this one is up to eight points. Thank you. Now, as you can see, we now have a square. So all you need to do, all you need to do is to cut it off. So by me looking at, look at it. From here to here is 8 points. Are you seeing everywhere is 8.27. Okay, so now we have formed the material which we are going to use and cut the plate. Remember, we are cutting 1440, which is whatever you are doing here. Eh? You see, as it is like this, eh? get it into four equal places. Do you understand? Because as we are as we be working on it now, during the time of cutting, we need to be cutting at four at the same time. Do you understand? Okay, so now look at it, guys. So what do we get? Seven divided by 6.28 is 1.27. Now look at it, guys. 1.27. 1.27 is around here. Are you seeing it? After one one quarter. Okay. Now look at it. It's around here. So the same thing I taught us. Mark it out. Make sure you drive to get at the other point. But make sure here is touching the uh, peak. Are you seeing it? So when you are done, connect in order to form the curve. Next thing you need to do is the, the fillet length. The fillet length is 6 plus 1, which is going to give us 7. Make sure you also take that 7. Mark out that 7 till you reach at the other edge. You seeing it? Mark it out till you reach at the other edge, like this. OK. Now when you are done, take your marker and the Connect in order to fully form the flame. So, next thing you need to do, guys, is to cut it out. Are you seeing it? Then make sure you cut this one out too. If you want to cross check, you already know how we cross check. Whatever you have as total is which is seven, then divided by four. Whatever it gives you, that is what's supposed to be here when you measure it. Do you understand? That is what's supposed to be here. So let's cut it out. OK, now guys, see what we have. By me looking at this, notice that it's small. So now, we need this thing four times, like four, four extra four pieces. Then we will now be joining them till we get at the point that we only have two points, which we are going to be using for our zipper allowance. Do you understand? At the end of the day, you notice that the flay will, it will flow more more than 360, more than 720. So this is how to get this particular one, 1,440 degrees flip.